Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. As we see the return of Shelton Benjamin to the WWE. Shelton Benjamin is a part of a 16-man tournament to name a number one contender for Big E Langston's WWE Championship. This tournament is going to span all the way to the Royal Rumble. There can only be one winner. Let me go down the list of names that are going to be involved in this tournament. Uh, we've got Shelton Benjamin, John Cena, Razor Ramon, Christian, Ryback, Wade Barrett, Sin Cara, uh, the Ace of Spades. We've got Sami Zayn, David Otunga, Luke Harper, Jack Swagger, Brodus Clay, Titus O'Neil, Six, and AJ Styles. All of these men are eligible to be the number one contender. They're going to have to go through a tournament. Biggie Langston last night shocking the world as he defeated Hollywood Hulk Hogan. After Hollywood Hulk Hogan would Hulk up, he got put back down by the WWE Champion Big E Langston. Tonight we are also going to have a face-off and a showdown that we have been wanting for the past couple of weeks. AJ Styles, three, four weeks ago, assaulted Big E Langston from behind. And tonight we're gonna see one-on-one, -on -one, champion versus champion. WWE Champion Biggie Langston takes on the Jack of Spades and the Intercontinental Champion AJ Styles. But right now, round one action in the WWE Number One Contendership Tournament. Ryback will be taking on Shelton Benjamin. We are also going to have another match tonight in this tournament. Wade Barrett, the King of Spades, will be taking on Sin Cara. And here we go. Shelton Benjamin hasn't been seen on Monday Night Raw in about six or seven years. As Ryback wants to get some redemption for last night when his team lost to Team NXT. Bray Wyatt's message too hard to contain last night in the Survivor Series. Luke Harper would be the last surviving team member of Team Raw. Titus O'Neil getting disqualified. Really put Raw at a disadvantage. But now Ryback, Titus O'Neil, and Luke Harper are looking to the future, and they are looking to become the new number one contender. Ryback getting extremely rough here with Shelton Benjamin. Welcome back, Shelton been a long time and we've had some new players enter the field here Shelton Benjamin a really great wrestler mid 2000s part of the world's greatest tag team with Charlie Haas one of the best intercontinental and United States champions that we've ever had Shelton Benjamin is a huge super athlete in this business well known for his athletic ability Can he get anywhere against Ryback? Ryback trying to catch Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin, a, Benjamin, a wily opponent. Dodging. Ryback using his brute strength. Shelton Benjamin catching Ryback with a kick to the gut. And now a knee to the back of the neck there. Stunning Ryback. Shelton Benjamin trying to gain some momentum. Ryback. Powering through and a strong chop dropping Shelton Benjamin and Ryback now. Very strange there as, as Shelton Benjamin goes over the top rope into the mat. Right there to the floor. That thin padding. Only about a half inch or so between that padding and concrete floor. Oh my god, Shelton Benjamin. A kick to the jaw to Ryback. Shelton Benjamin. Oh, the money shot. Taking Ryback down. Trying to get the big man back into the ring. The big guy is down and out. No, Ryback standing back up. Oh my God. Shelton Benjamin off the ropes into a DDT. Taking Ryback down. Shelton Benjamin going to use his high flying ability here. And it gets dodged by Ryback. Ryback now. 
getting pumped up. He's ready to go. Shelton Benjamin off the ropes. Big back body drop. Ryback. A spine buster from the big guy. Ryback now the meat hook clothesline connecting harshly to Shelton Benjamin. Is this it? Ryback going for the cover. One, two, and Shelton Benjamin kicking out. Shelton Benjamin elbow to the face, knocking Ryback down. Ryback getting back up, powering through. Belly to belly suplex, taking down Shelton Benjamin. And Ryback says it's done, it's done, it's time to finish it. Ryback bringing him up. He's gonna bring him up just to drop him back down. Taking the ride. Shelton Benjamin getting dropped by Ryback. Going for the cover. One, two, three. Ryback moves on in the tournament. Shelton Benjamin, welcome back to the WWE. Meet my friend Ryback. He has been running rampant ever since you've left. Ryback moves on, and he will face the winner of Wade Barrett and Sin Cara later tonight, later on in the tournament. Ryback one step closer to becoming WWE Champion. Impressive feat here tonight, defeating a returning superstar in Shelton Benjamin. Ryback overpowering the athletic superstar. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe coming to the ring. And he is ready to go. Jay Briscoe getting a shot here. But he's got to face the great Kali. Good luck, Jay Briscoe. Past couple of weeks, Jay Briscoe has jumped the crowd and interrupted my commentary. The general manager of Monday Night Raw has decided to give Jay Briscoe a chance. Good luck, Jay. Good luck against the great Kali, former world heavyweight champion. I don't think he's got a chance in hell, a snowball's chance in hell. Jay Briscoe's going to get what's coming to him today. This guy has been irritating and annoying all throughout. Plugging his, his, I, I, I don't know, a, a jack of all trades, I guess you would say. Business. I mean, 18677, a, a bam, is what he was saying. I'm not even sure if that's a real phone number. I'm not sure how many of you actually tried to call it. But I don't think it even exists. Jay Briscoe lives by the attitude of by any means necessary. And that's how he came up with BAM. I, I, Jay Briscoe is just a nut job. This guy. Good luck to him against the Great Collie, but I don't see it happening. Oh my god, German suplex to the Great Collie. I will I'll admit that Jay Briscoe does have some skill, but I mean this is just I, this is just Great Collie playing with his food. Every once in a while, a grape gets caught in your throat. You have to choke it back up, but you eat it eventually. Jay Briscoe headbutting the Great Collie. You've got to be nuts to headbutt that guy. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but Jay Briscoe came out to the Chain Gang's video. I don't even think this guy's got his own video or music. Extremely unprofessional, but it seems like he's getting the job done as he hits a back suplex on the Great Kali. I mean, this uh, our talent scouts have really scouted out Jay Briscoe, one of the Ring of Honor champions quite some time we brought him up for a tryout match and ever since then he's just been bugging me on the commentary table and we're giving him a shot here against the great Kali he has his opportunity here to show himself as a character and as a human being as a competitor as an athlete 
to the WWE Universe. It's a great Kali using him as a floor mat. Probably where Jay Briscoe belongs. Oh, and a knee straight to the face of Jay Briscoe. And again, just walking all over him. Come on, great Kali, finish it. Finish it. Chop him over the head. Chop him over the head. Another back suplex by Jay Briscoe. And, you know, this is really playing to his advantage. The more he knocks the great Kali down, the easier this match is going to be for him. Great Kali just working on the legs. Big back body drop to Jay Briscoe. Great Kali, a rake to the eye. Oh my god, a spear from Jay Briscoe taking down the Great Kali. Wow. Great Kali is, 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 seems like he's getting a little desperate here. Jay Briscoe poking the Great Kali in the eye. Referee using his discretion, saying it's legal. Big boot taking Great Kali down. Oh my god, how did he even do that? Jay Briscoe, senton. Well, I, I, I gotta say it's impressive. I mean, he's doing his best here against the Great Kali. And the Great Kali. The Great Kali measuring him up, chopping him over the face. Jay Briscoe's done. It's done. Stick a fork in him. Wait. Wait, Jay Briscoe getting back up. This guy's a lunatic. Oh, my God. Just throwing the Great Kali. The Great Kali is almost 500 pounds. Jay Briscoe is just lifting him up and throwing him across the stage. My God, Jay Briscoe. Nice suplex there. Really well done, especially to a man as big as the Great Kali going for the pin. One, two. No, the Great Kali kicking out. Very close to being a, a very impressive win here for Jay Briscoe. All right, Kali, you got to finish it now. You got to finish the job here. One, two. Jay Briscoe kicking out. Come on. Oh, my God. What is Jay Briscoe doing here? Oh my god! Oh my oh my god! Jay Briscoe has just hit what he calls the Jay Driller. He is just it, it almost looked like a pile driver. Jay Driller Oh and Great Cully kicking out immediately. Finish the job, Cully. I mean Jay Briscoe just hit an amazing maneuver there. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it as the Great Collie is going to put this match away. Jay Briscoe didn't stand a chance anyway. Tap out, kid. Go hit the weights, take a shower, get a clue. Oh, my God. Oh. Jay Briscoe taking it to the Great Collie. This is impeccable. All right, the Great Collie is about to finish it here. Two-handed choke slam, taking Jay Briscoe out. Taking him out to the back of the woodshed and putting him out of his misery and hopefully out of the WWE. One, two, three. The Great Kali, victorious here. Jay Briscoe, na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Get him out of here. That's what you get for interrupting my commentary, Jay Briscoe. No doubt some impressive moves from Jay Briscoe, but if he can't beat the Great Kali, what makes him think that he has any future in this business? I, th I think that that's it. I think, I think Jay Briscoe's done. One and done. Jay Briscoe, gone. <laughs> Get him out of here. Oh, what a beautiful replay. One, two, three. Jay Briscoe losing to the Great Kali. The Great Kali can only move like a quarter of a mile per hour. What an embarrassing loss from Jay Briscoe. This is great. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to commercial break as we celebrate the loss of Jay Briscoe. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Raw. Wade Barrett making his way to the ring. He is in the number one contenders tournament for Biggie Langston's WWE Championship. 
the king of the ring of 2014, Wade Barrett, the king of spades. Looking to get an impressive win here against Sin Cara. Will he be able to defeat the masked superstar? Last night, the spades got clean swept by the shield. Raw losing both of their matches in the Survivor Series. Bit of an embarrassment. Wade Barrett trying to recover from that embarrassing loss as Sin Cara makes his way to the ring. We've seen Sin Cara in this universe mode before, having great matchups against Ryback. Sin Cara, an impressive talent, no doubt. A lot of high flying maneuvers. Jumps around like a pogo stick. This guy can beat you out of anywhere if he gets the right leverage on you. And Wade Barrett's going to have to keep him grounded in this match. Can you imagine Sin Cara versus Big E Langston for the WWE Championship? And Sin Cara's lighting obviously going to play an effect here. Not quite sure if that's an unfair advantage or not. Sin Cara used to the low lighting of Mexico. Prefers it during his matches. Wade Barrett, I guess, is probably used to low lighting in the underground brawls that he used to take part in. Back when he was the scum and the scourge of London streets. Now Wade Barrett is the king. He's living in Buckingham Palace now. I'm almost certain that that is not how London works. But Wade Barrett is the king nonetheless. Seeing Carr getting taken down. Wade Barrett going to try to utilize his striking abilities. He can hit that bull hammer elbow. Another interesting side note here is all three members of the Spades are in this tournament. If they all progress... As, as I'm hoping that they progress, I, I do want to see the Spades succeed. But if they do progress, eventually they're going to have to start taking each other out. And is that going to cause some friction between this team? We haven't seen them work together all too well. They were not successful in taking down Cena. They were not successful in totally taking out the NWO. And they weren't successful in beating the Shield. The Spades have been all over the place. These competitors trying to keep and they keep nothing. buggering on. Oh, no. Seeing Cara, nice arm drag there, taking down Wade Barrett. This is our second matchup of the night in the tournament for Biggie Langston's WWE Championship. These men are fighting for the opportunity to wrestle the champion at the Royal Rumble. NXT winning last night at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. They have the advantage. In the Royal Rumble itself. So all of these men on Monday Night Raw are going to take huge advantage of this opportunity. It's almost the road to WrestleMania. It's time to start winning as Wade Barrett going for a pin. And he's utilizing the ropes. One, two, three. The referee couldn't see it. It was low lighting. Low lighting, the referee didn't see Wade Barrett prop his feet on the ropes. Wade Barrett uses the ropes to beat Sin Cara. Oh my god. The low lighting actually playing an effect here. The referee didn't see it. And Wade Barrett moves on. He will face Ryback in the next round of this number one contenders tournament. You said it. The only good thing for him is that the Wade Barrett looking impressive. Well done, Wade Barrett, as he moves on. Well, welcome back to Monday Night Raw, and we see the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Usos, making their way to the ring last week on Monday Night Raw. They defended their championships against 3MB. Tonight, they're looking for some new number one contenders. They're looking for a good matchup. And tonight, they've got the NWO. The Usos in action here. Non-title against the NWO. And it would seem... 
Ladies and gentlemen, next week on Monday Night Raw, I am I'm not too pleased to announce Jay Briscoe will be having a rematch against the great Kali. I and I, I was just told to announce that by the Raw general manager. I mean, there, there's nothing I can do about it. He'll he'll be back next week, unfortunately. And it would seem that we're also getting something. Uh, we have a backstage interview with John Cena about this tournament and for Biggie Langston's championship. And I guess I guess we're gonna go to that. So John Cena, can you hear me? Michael Cole, this isn't an interview. This isn't gonna be something that I'm uh, gonna let you give and take on. It's not gonna be something I'm gonna let you give me questions on. It's just gonna be a statement. Now myself and my lieutenant of the chain gang, we're in this tournament. That's true. We're in the tournament. And I expect nothing less than dominance. And we're gonna move on and we're gonna advance. And we're gonna take out anyone in our path. Cause we're gonna win. And we're gonna become the number one contenders to Biggie Langston's championship. Now I don't want you to ask any questions of me, Michael Cole, but I also wanna say Jay Briscoe, normally I'd be extremely upset that you stole my music, you stole my video for your entrance. But you know what? My new attitude says I like the balls. But if you ever, ever steal from me again, me and my Lieutenant Brodus Clay, we're going to make you hurt by any means necessary. We're done here, Michael. Well, and as this match gets started, uh, John Cena saying a statement that he was not happy with the way Jay Briscoe presented himself earlier tonight. This guy's making a lot of enemies, and it's only night one for him. Brodus Clay and John Cena are in the number one contenders tournament. I believe they are in different brackets. And yes, they are. They could go. They really could go all the way. Just Brodus and John Cena. They could sweep the whole series. And Brodus Clay could lay down and give John Cena the number one contendership. We'll see how it all shakes out. But right now, we've got the NWO in action against the Usos. Razor Ramon in six. Extremely upset. Last night, Hulk Hogan lost to Biggie Langston. But the NWO has to move on. Hulk Hogan has not been heard from since last night's pay-per-view loss. They can only hope that he is in a good place in his mindset. I mean, we know what he's like when he's losing. He's not a happy camper, and that's saying it in the lightest of ways. Razor Ramon, nice Russian leg sweep there, taking down Jimmy Uso. Last week we saw Razor Ramon and Six and Hollywood Hulk Hogan beat the WWE Champion down. Razor Ramon delivered a razor's edge on the concrete floor, trying to weaken the champion for Hogan. The NWO's plan would not work out as well as they had hoped. Jim Uso now trying to take some control in this match and dropping all of that weight onto his shoulder. Jim Uso. Banging the head of Razor Ramon against the mat. Jimmy Uso trying to keep Razor Ramon in this match. Razor Ramon, Irish whipping Jimmy into a corner. Taking him to the top rope. What is he thinking here? He's thinking a top rope move. He's thinking superplex against Jimmy Uso. And connecting. Jimmy Uso laid out. And Razor Ramon in control. Six calling for a tag. Oh, look at that maneuver there. An Irish whip into the corner and six laying out his foot for a shot to the kidneys. Razor Ramon discus clothesline taking down Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso in need of a tag here. And Jimmy Uso running straight for Jay. Razor Ramon sees the tag, tags in six. Jay belly to belly suplex to six. To build momentum. The NWO, if they get a win here, they can find themselves in number one contention for the tag team championships. 
as Jimmy gets tagged back into the action here. Six and Razor Ramona, very formidable team. Six with that sweet chin music homage to Shawn Michaels. Razor Ramon, of course, here. with the Razor's Edge. 3MB, not very happy after last week's loss to the Usos. Sami Zayn, however, is in the number one contenders tournament. What a tag team match this has been. Six dropping Jey Uso. No, I'm sorry, Jimmy Uso in the ring right now. As Jimmy tries to tag in J6, going to the top rope, maybe in the wrong corner. Crossbody, dodges, gets missed. And J into the match, a drop kick, taking six back to the mat. There's gonna be a lot of offense in this match. Jimmy and Jay Uso have been extremely impressive as tag team champions. Ever since winning them off of tons of funk, Brodus Clay, and Tensai earlier in the year. Six now just stomping a mud hole in Jey Uso. Jey Uso getting Irish whipped into the NWO's corner. And a tag is made. Tag team maneuver incoming. Six throwing Jey into the ropes. Dropping him. Elbow drop from Razor Ramon. And now a knee to the same spot. Oh my god and twice. Razor Ramon just trying to hurt Jey Uso. To weaken the spine. I mean, the Razor's Edge really just impacts somebody's spine. You see the way people fold up after they get hit with that maneuver. The Razor Ramon knows exactly what he's doing. As Jimmy Uso striking Razor Ramon and beating him down to the mat and now hitting him in the face and smashing his face against the mat as well. Jimmy Uso trying to beat down Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon and Jimmy Uso have really shown a lot of animosity towards each other in this match. And look at this. Here we go again. Just more brawling here. Three right hands straight to the face to Razor Ramon. And there's that. Oh my God. There's that kick straight to the chin. Jimmy Uso might have knocked Razor Ramon out. Jey Uso. Is he going to come in for isolation? And he is. One, two. Six comes in. Breaks it up. Razor Ramon being Irish whipped into his own corner. Jimmy Uso trying to attack six. Six reverses and six. I believe six is now the tag man in this match. Six now the legal man as he tagged in. And six now dominating Jimmy Uso. Six going for a maneuver there. Jimmy Uso reverses. Six dodging out of the way of the strike. Jimmy reversing the strike and going for a back suplex connecting to six. Six with that flipping clothesline there. And six now trying to put it away. Razor Ramon going to isolate a little early. And I think Razor Ramon has taken Jay out on the outside. But Jimmy has reversed on the inside and completely stolen away Six's momentum. And there's that high kick to the chin again. Jimmy Uso going for the pin. Razor on the outside. One, two, and he makes it to break up the pin. Jay Uso. Razor Ramon. And oh my God, and Six hitting that sweet chin music to Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso down and out on the outside going for the pin. One, two. Three, no. Jimmy Uso kicking out. Somehow he's still going. Oh, what a counter. Six and Jimmy Uso battling in the middle of the ring. The Usos and the NWO having a hell of a match here tonight. As Jimmy Uso goes off the top rope, he hits a crossbody and tags in his brother Jay. Jay coming in, going for the uppercut. Dodge, out of the way by Six. Six going straight for Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon now in the match. Razor Ramon immediately kicked to the gut. Razor's edge incoming. As Jey Uso is going to get caught. Oh my god, and six. Six tried for a, a maneuver there against Jey Uso and interrupted the Razor's edge. Running Bulldog taking down Jey. Is that enough to put them away? No, I don't think it is. 
J oh my god, a roll up here by Jey Uso going for the pin. One. Not gonna happen. Razor Ramon kicking out. Jey Uso. High kick straight to the face of Razor Ramon. It's so overly used because it's effective and it works. One, two. No, Razor Ramon kicking out. Jey Uso has to do something else. Razor Ramon, not done yet. Jey Uso, Samoan drop to Razor Ramon. Six on the inside was brawling with Jimmy on the outside, going for the pin. One, two, three. Oh my God, Jey Uso sneaks a pin on Razor Ramon and the Usos escape with a victory against the NWO. Look at the action here. I mean, we saw a lot of high kicks to the chin. Probably connecting on some of the... Straight to the nose on some of these. Good tag team maneuvers by the NWO, but the NWO a new tag team, and you can tell. Made some crucial mistakes in this match. Especially when Razor went up for the Razor's Edge, and Six accidentally hit, I believe it was Jey Uso at the time and drag Jey Uso off of the Razor's Edge maneuver. One, two, three, Jey Uso sneaking a pin on Razor Ramon, and the Usos victorious on Monday Night Raw. Who is gonna be the next people to take on the Usos for the Tag Team Championships? Tag teams are falling left and right to these guys. The Usos are dominant on Monday Night Raw. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw, and here comes your WWE Champion defending last night against Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And he is set up to face the Intercontinental Champion, the Jack of Spades, AJ Styles, is a champion versus champion match here on Monday Night Raw. Biggie Langston's got a bone to pick with AJ Styles after AJ Styles beat him down a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. And now it's time for this grudge match to be put to the test. AJ Styles is in the tournament for Biggie Langston's WWE Championship. AJ Styles will eventually be facing six in about three weeks on Monday Night Raw. And AJ Styles, of course, the team captain of the Spades last night at the Survivor Series, losing in a clean sweep to the Shield, a very embarrassing loss. AJ Styles saying he was focused on the future. He should have been more focused on the present because he got beat by Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. And here we go, champion versus champion, Biggie Langston, after a battle last night against Hulk Hogan. In action against AJ Styles. Both these men are the singles champions of Monday Night Raw. Both these men have a little bit of an ax to grind with each other. Biggie Langston suffering a Russian leg sweep there. Lengths an Irish whip into the corner, and now a spear taking AJ Styles to the bottom rope, and Biggie Langston laying some suffering down on AJ Styles. You know, I interviewed AJ Styles after that loss last night, and, you know, Wade Barrett and Adrian Neville took it well. They knew that they were beat by the better men, but AJ Styles had a load of excuses. AJ Styles first blamed the Ace of Spades. He blamed Adrian Neville. AJ Styles said to me, and for the first time, he felt like he should have been the Ace of Spades and Adrian Neville should have been the Jack. Uh, that's a pretty revealing statement. Um, I'm not quite sure what Adrian Neville has thought about that, but it is something to think about that, you know, the leader of your faction doesn't believe in you anymore. Adrian Neville obviously brought in as the Ace of Spades, the top guy of the group, the guy who could get stuff done. And he just hasn't been pulling his weight. Match. 
That's why it's going to be very interesting to see if uh, the Spades can advance in, in, in an equal rate here in this tournament. And we'll finally see who the better of the Spades are. AJ Styles is, of course, the Intercontinental Champion. He's going to have to defend that championship. AJ Styles chopping Biggie Langston to the mat. Biggie Langston not taking too kindly to that. Reverses and brings AJ Styles up into a torture rack. And this is just aching the whole side of AJ Styles. This is torture on his whole body here. Biggie Langston dropping AJ Styles. AJ Styles trying to come back. Biggie Langston stopping him for the moment. And again up into the torture rack. Oh my god, and dropping AJ Styles. On Biggie Langston running right through AJ Styles. And he thinks that this is it. Going for the pin. Going for the cover. One, two, three. No. AJ Styles kicking out. How is the phenom still going? Biggie Langston looking to finish the job here against the Intercontinental Champion. Can he do it? AJ Styles reversing. AJ Styles trying to rush at Biggie Langston. Biggie Langston rushing into him head first. Collision there. Spinning heel kick to the WWE Champion. Back heel kick to the gut. AJ Styles trying desperately to stop Biggie Langston's momentum here. Biggie Langston dodging. Biggie Langston bringing AJ up for the big ending. Connecting. Biggie Buster. Is this enough to put away the Intercontinental Champion? Biggie Langston, one, two, three. And Biggie Langston, the WWE Champion, getting redemption from the beatdown that he got from AJ Styles just a few weeks ago. Well, champion versus champion and... As you can see, the WWE Champion reigns true. Biggie Langston having a great couple of matches the past couple of nights, really defining this young man's career. He held the Money in the Bank uh, briefcase for a long time, waited for the perfect opportunity, defeated Hogan, defended against Hogan, which is impressive enough, but the very next night, defending against Intercontinental Champion AJ Styles is impressive. And there's Hollywood Hulk Hogan making his appearance with Razor Ramon. And Biggie Langston. I'm not quite sure that the NWO is finished with him yet. Biggie Langston and Hollywood Hulk Hogan facing off to end Monday Night Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, NXT will be on Wednesday. Friday night, we will see SmackDown. And of course, next Monday night, Monday Night Raw will be on again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Derek D. Ginger King, checking out.